Homeless veterans in the valley are getting a new home, and the city of Phoenix is buying it for them. It's a big step forward in dealing with a mushrooming housing crisis here in the valley that's affecting more than just veterans. So what else is being done to help? Jessica Bame reported on the story on the new Housing for Veterans as part of the new Arizona Republic team covering homelessness and housing affordability in the Valley. That's a long title. Well, welcome back to, to Square Off, Jessica. Thanks so much, Bram. So let's start by helping viewers understand why so many more people these days are on the brink of homelessness. Sure. I mean, we've always seen people experiencing homelessness for things like mental illness and other underlying conditions, addiction, and other things. But we're really starting to see a lot of economic consequences that are leading to uh, homelessness. So there's a few things. We have, uh, we have record home prices right now, and that is a consequence of a lack of supply in the Valley of housing. So we know that in Phoenix, that we have at least 163,000 units that we need of housing right now to house the people in our valley um, at a, a reasonable rate. Um, and we know that we're going to have so many more people moving into the valley in the next 10 years and probably even further along than that. So what you're seeing is this over demand for a limited number of supply and that's like really increasing home prices and that's trickling into the rental market too because we don't see any housing stock practically under 300,000 so more and more people have to rent and when you have that rental demand you're going to see higher and higher prices and so we are seeing people at the bottom levels of our income levels and are most vulnerable being pushed out of housing that they may have had for decades. And this is really the first time we're seeing that kind of economic consequence leading to homelessness in Metro Phoenix. And those rental prices are part of the issue with this U.S. Vets facility uh, over on Grand Avenue that you wrote about. The city, city stepped in to help them uh, after the landlord jacked up the rent. So what's the city doing and where's the money coming from? Yeah, you know, I mean, no one is immune from these rental prices. It's U.S. Vets had a uh, homeless shelter, transitional housing, affordable housing for veterans over on Grand Avenue for years and found out that in January their rent was going to more than double, which is obviously a really difficult thing for uh, a nonprofit to be able to swallow. So luckily, the Phoenix City Council had some uh, money left over from the coronavirus relief funds they received from the federal government that they were able to use uh, to uh, allow U.S. vets to purchase a new facility somewhere in the city of Phoenix where they can um, not only be able to continue the work that they're doing, but it, in a great turn of events, they should be able to even offer 50 to 70 more units of affordable housing for veterans. And one of the persistent issues when we talk about homelessness is the downtown homeless campus. Uh, it's become a tent city uh, for homeless people. Neighbors don't like it, want the city to do something about it. This has been an issue for years, the crowding there. What can be done? What's the city looking at? And it seems like the city's alone in this. Yeah, that's something that you'll hear from the city all the time is that they really feel like the entire region has allowed this area uh, just south of downtown Phoenix to <clears throat> house the entire homeless population for the, for the entire region. Um, right now, the Human Services Campus, which is the major collection of providers down there, is asking to add more beds to that campus, hoping that the people that you see living on the streets in tents will move into the shelter if more beds are available. They have about a little over 450 beds right now and they're practically full every single night. So they're hoping that by adding those beds, they will be able to house more people. Now the neighborhood not sold on that, very fearful that that's just going to create a larger problem, draw more people to the area. And that neighborhood around the human services campus is, you know, also a working class neighborhood and feels like they have just been forced to carry the burden of our homelessness crisis for all of us who live in different cities across Metro Phoenix. Yeah. All right. Lots more work to be done. Glad you're on the beat, Jessica. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Graham.